the entry antiphon. Jesus entered a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, in God's name, I warmly welcome you all to our parish church as we gather to celebrate Mass on this, the Feast of St. Martha. It's lovely to see you all in church again even though the numbers are limited. Welcome also to those who are viewing and listening at home or elsewhere by television. Today's Mass is offered for Mary O'Hoy, whose anniversary occurs at this time. We will move more quickly during this Mass, but hopefully prayerfully, as we are all in a confined space and we try to keep the virus away. We begin our Mass by recalling God's presence and by asking him to forgive our sins and failings and to make us worthy to celebrate Mass today. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and any, everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. We can know that we are living in him and he is living in us 
because he lets us share his spirit. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. We ourselves have known and put our faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love, and anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued him from his distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Let's stand up for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ the Son of God, the one who has to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, today we are celebrating the feast of St. Martha, who is the sister of Mary and Lazarus. 
She had the privilege of receiving our Lord into her home and provided for his needs with great care. She was described as fretting about, worrying about many things when our Lord came to dinner, in short contrast with her sister Mary, who sat at our Lord's feet having a conversation with him. Our Lord tells Martha that Mary has chosen the better part. Martha clearly takes the correction of our Lord to heart. When he comes to Bethany again because her brother Lazarus had died, Martha is still the active one, the doer. She runs out to meet our Lord while, our, while Mary stays at home. At Martha's request, our Lord restored life to her brother Lazarus. Martha's anxiety had given away to faith. She says, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is to come into the world. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live. St. Martha is the patroness of all housekeepers, and all involved in the hospitality scene. And her village, Bethany, gives the name to our new meeting room in the parish centre. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. 
Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. My brothers and sisters, let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that, as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our beautiful service may find favour in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Eucharistic prayer number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dews fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Using acclamation number one, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Cardinal and all the clergy and people. Remember your servant Mary O'Hoy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As followers of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, let's share with each other a sign of his peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always 
faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Blood of Christ. Amen. As you know, Holy Communion will be given at the end of Mass. You have already made your act of faith in the real presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Holy Communion will be given in silence and you don't respond by saying Amen. Communion Antiphon. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming into this world. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, Turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, as I am keeping a social distance, I will not distribute Holy Communion, but John will act as Eucharistic minister. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go forth glorifying the Lord with our lives.